Hello everybody and welcome to Total War Rome with the Lord of the Rings mod. I think that's the proper name of it, it's just Lord of the Rings mod, I don't think there's any... Well, it's the third age Total War mod, but for Rome Total War, or Total War Rome as I'm going to be calling it in this, in this let's play. What is this? Well, it is a Lord of the Rings complete overall mod. What does it do? Well, it just adds the War of the Ring to basically... Well, Total War Rome, which is very, very interesting. We are going to be playing as a somewhat small faction, the faction of the Sylvan Elves, of the or the Wooden Elves, or Thranduil's Elves, as whatever you want to call it. And our objective is simple. We have but five settlements to take. We need to take Eindolen, Eminufoin, we need to take Dol Guldur, and we also need to take Baradur. And to do that, well, we will have to go through Minas Morgul and uh, or Moranon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be it's going to be difficult a bit. Or we can just ignore everything, go through the the Easterlings, and then just go around this place. It could also be done, but and we need to take Nargroth to do that. But it is possible, and hopefully, the Realm of Man holds Osgiliath, Ker Andros, Minas Tirith, and there's Dol Amroth, and also there's Thoras and Helm's Deep, hoo -hoo. and also Isengar. We are we start off at war with them. They start off with two camps, and that this is the different thing uh, in regards to the Medieval Two mod. It's that. There is, there are camps, there, and, and they are different than settlements. And I, I'd rather have these type of settlements than than whatever the hell Medieval Two does. I actually, one thing I really don't like about Medieval Two is the difference between castles and towns. I'd rather just have the one type of settlement, and that is it. Like in Rome, which is really, really lovely. We start allied not to the dwarves, but to not the bandits. But to these guys, to the other elves, I believe. No, this is Dale. We don't start allied to them. We start off, uh, we start off allied to these as well. And who else are we allied to? Galadrim, which is... I have no clue. Where is Galadrim? I don't know. They have different names for basically different things. So, our objective? Well, we need to do some things. So, to start things off, we have our lovely diplomat over here and... Oh, I completely forgot. Where was Dale? Okay, right over there. I'm sorry, this is the last time I'm actually going to cheat. Yes, well, it's not. It's just seeing what they have. So, I want trade rights, military access, military access, map information, and map information. Hmm... They don't want trade? They do want trade. Then, okay, that was weird. Okay, so we are now allied to Dale. And the one thing about our faction is we, I believe, are. Yeah, we are hemorrhaging money. Oof. Because mostly because of Thrandu Hill's place. It will take forever for them to grow, but we need to actually keep. A normal tax rate because they grow really really slowly that is not good right is there anything to grow for growth public health I believe that is it if we get more health, oh, not this button. If we get more health, the people would actually grow more, I believe. Even though that doesn't give me money. So what does give me money? Increasing trade, public order, increasing tradable goods, light attack, heavy attack, missile attack. And armor but it decreases my tax income by two percent right so first things first 
Uh, maybe a trading post. It is very, very light. And we want more elven archers. Yes, for whatever reason. And we have over here Legolas, the son of Thranduil. We also have Thranduil over here. And Legolas, he needs to go south. He really needs to go south. So let's continue. Uh, there we go. And we cannot build a watchtower there. That, that does not belong to me. And here, population growth, sure. And we, I don't think it actually can grow, so just put it on a very high tax rate. And we're still hemorrhaging money, but not as much money, which is good. You also need to... Yes, my lord. Wait, did I not get map information from them? I believe I probably didn't. That was the one thing I actually did not realize. Right, Mercury Rangers, Elven Archers, Sylvan Spears, right over the green. Okay, so we probably don't need to recruit any of those. Actually, let me just... because... Ooh. I want to see. Okay, there is a town up there. There's a town up there. I don't know the map, so I do actually need to see what the hell is around us. It's goblin raiders and bandits. Right, so I'm guessing... Oh god, it will actually take forever to reach it. But we do need more settlement. Do really need them. If I if I leave with this entire army, we'll be unhappy. But if I keep you on normal, you'll actually be happy. Right, so I'll need to move this army down. And Gabble. Okay, there is There are some goblins over there. I actually do recruit Sylvan Sword. Uh, I'd rather have the Elven Archers in all honesty. It's the It is the best one of the best units that we can recruit. And we also need to move him. No point in having an army like that. And okay, we need to actually lower it just so we don't lose population. This is the one thing that they actually showed in the beginning that the elves are running out of population quick. So yeah, we gotta leave our settlements unattended. We can just recruit one unit and they take forever to actually reach our position. So it doesn't really bother me much. Let us just advance south. Legolas is over here. We have Thranduil going south as well. And we have Falathar going south as well with some very good units. Right, we could disband some. We could, but honestly, we don't lose. We are not losing that much money. About a thousand three hundred, a thousand two hundred, something like that. But when we take that, and when we take that, we should be golden. Also, those are our objectives, right? We need to take. Yeah, that's one of ours, and we also need to take. Uh... Okay, so this is not one of those. Doesn't matter. Right. So this has been the very first turn of the campaign. And before I forget, this is going to be a campaign where I don't show off everything. We, you, this has just been the first turn, so, you, so I'm showing you what I'm doing. But for the rest, I'm going to be just cutting most of the stuff that is boring or is not interesting. And... And yeah, that is about it. So next time you actually see me play, uh, I'm going to be showing off some updates and what and etc. Not much, in all honesty. And hopefully, we, I want to get some map information from Dale. 
Oh damn, they didn't give me any. Ah, let's continue the campaign then. It is the very next turn. I have gotten map information from Dale, but they extorted 300 gold out of me. They wanted more, but I actually got it out to 300. Not that good, not that bad. We are sending Thranduil to the original place where I wanted them to go, this little province over here. And we have this settlement and this settlement under siege. And in two turns, they will surrender. I actually don't know how good they actually are. But if... Actually... I don't know, should I attack them? Maybe I should attack them. I tried to conduct some... Some some trade or military lines with the uh, with the um, the dwarves, they said no. So now I'm going south. I probably I should be going yeah I should be going south to try and find them. Oh, look at that, that's amazing. And then there's a good uh, one by Rohan. And there's also another. Ah, there it is. There's the thingy. The Watchtower of something something, completely forgot the name, where... Freaking, I completely forgot the name of him. Where he got stabbed by the Witch King. But yeah, we also... Dol Kultur, that might be a problem. That might be a big problem. Right, let us take these provinces. We might be able to take them no problem whatsoever. Oh yes, we have a very big advantage. Right, we're going to do two battles, one right after the other. Uh, they have basically the same armies. This one has a couple more units, doesn't really matter much. But we have Legolas over here against a bunch of goblins. And they are nothing to be snuffed at. They're actually quite garbage. All of them, they just have numbers, but numbers mean nothing. So, let us go to battle, the very first battle, and it is with Lagalas, the that, that lovely hunk of meat. There aren't many tactics that I can really do with just one infantry unit. They have some shields, so that will be quite okay. And... Hmm, okay, interesting. And we have some Elven Archers back here, we have some Mirkwood Rangers, and the Greenwood Sentinels that have Legolas right here. I don't think he will be able to shoot, he's just a commander, but the Green Hood Sentinels there, well, they are quite fantastic, actually. One of my best units so far. Probably the best unit that the Sylvan Elves can actually have. Right, let us begin the battle, and everyone is already firing. This is lovely to see. I right, love the sound. Okay, the Orc Archers are approaching. Ooh, they went down like flies. Interesting. And they are already broken. Are some... Are some of them being shot at? Probably. They're not shooting at the broken unit, right? No, they're not good. They're shooting at the hunter goblins. Good, 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 good. Oh, they look quite... Well, they look exactly like in the movies. I really do love that. Right, but we are... We are actually losing... A lot of ammo. So we should... Get closer. Yeah, we need to get closer. They have... Quite a lot of troops. But remember, all of them miserable. All of them are absolutely miserable. Like, let us advance a little bit in time. Actually, we don't even need to get this close. All of you over to there. Right, they completely decimated that unit, and now they are going to decimate everything that comes in front of them. God, they have very long range. 
They have an amazing range. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, they even have a fire pit over here. That's lovely to see. Let me just go basically... Oh, we can actually go basically everywhere in this in this battle map. This That's very interesting. Oh, this is the commander. Right, and we are actually running out of ammo quite quickly. How good are you guys in melee? Right, 5 in melee attack, 9 in melee attack. So, all of you except for the Elven Archers are actually going to be okay. Melee. Oh, and you gained one chevron of experience. And we killed their commander. Good. Officer Bungo. Right, they are uh, out of ammo. And... All of you get closer then. Right, they can. I can no longer attack. Okay, so get the Sylvan Swords. I want the Merkwood Rangers going there, and I want Legolas going there. Right, Warrior Goblins, and. Okay, do that. You go for them. And Orcs Naga. Right? <laughs> Right, they most likely will not stand much of a chance. These guys only have one hit point. These guys and these guys, I believe, have two. I believe Legolas might have three hit points even. Which is pretty, pretty good. And after these, there are only two units. Some Orc Snaga and some Orc Snaga. Now, Orc Scouts and some Orc Snaga. All right, then. There's not much that they can do. Okay, then. Yeah, they... They're all going to die. Let us just triple speed this. I don't believe they will do much against us. Okay. Everyone stop that. Why is it still on triple speed? This is uh, this is why you shouldn't advance on triple speed every time you fight. Right, at least my Sylvan swords are doing quite good. Love the look of their swords; They're quite amazing. Right, you go around. Those are just orc scouts, so it will not do much against us. And there, we are still warmed up. So good, okay. You go there. You go there. You go there. Okay, this time just double speed. Double speed should be enough. Winded, winded and warmed up. Alright. Can we actually not... I thought we'd... Come on, click the bloody button. Right, my Merkwood Rangers should do quick work of them. Oh yes, they will. And now everyone... Go and kill them, please. They are going to have infinite morale, but again pretty miserable in terms of how good they actually are. So let us just fast forward because there's not really much else to see. Right. They are going down really really quickly and okay one casualty but they gained some experience. Two casualties and we did it! Clear victory. We lost 12 men. Have any of them healed two of them in the Sylvan Swords? That's it. But Legolas and the Mirkwood Rangers. Oh, wow, they got each 100 plus kills. And the Sylvan Swords did quite okay as well. I'm I'm really, really happy with, with these. I mean, very small numbers, 
but they can kill quite a lot, which is very, very good. And all of them gain some experience, except for the Sylvan Swords, for whatever reason. 